Get ready, Chilton people, for Ben's Kitchen Disco. Live on Chilton Voice. Good evening, here we go, Chilton people. You're locked into Ben's Kitchen Disco. This is live radio. Buckle up, strap yourself in. This is your show. Reach out to me, studio at chiltonvoice.fm. Don't be shy, I won't bite. Very special show tonight. I've got an inspiring guest. Paige from Acts of Kindness Chilton is joining me tonight. And if you haven't heard of her charity yet, you're going to find out soon. Hi, this is Paige here from Acts of Kindness Chilton, and the next song coming up is Fata Grey. Paige started Acts of Kindness Chilton two years ago. And I'm telling you all this to prove to her I've done my I've done my own work before she came on and joined me tonight. Now, if you live in or around the Chilterns or surrounding boroughs, then please follow and interact with Paige's group on Facebook. That's Acts of Kindness Chilton. Now, Paige set this group up to help people in need that may not be in a good position financially or emotionally. And her charity gives people in need help with the following. She's thinking, what am I here? He's doing it all for me. Food, clothes, furniture, baby goods, baby food, food parcels, outdoor furniture, equipment, toys, toiletries or general advice. And if Paige can't help you, she will put you in touch with people who can. Do you know what? I think we should give Paige a round of applause even before she's spoken. Hang on. Inspirational, mate. So, before we dig in, Paige, what do you do in real life? I am a single mother to a five-year-old little boy. Um, and a lot of what I do revolves around him. And when I'm not with him, I'm doing my charity, pretty much. What was the moment when Acts of Kindness Chilton dropped into your head? So take me through how the idea came about. So, obviously, I wanted there to be a support for everyone. And the idea kind of came about when we'd been through previous struggles. Uh, me and my son, we'd been through hardships and there wasn't really the support there that I felt was able to help us and so I thought if I could build a platform myself and help others so they were never in the same situation we were in then essentially that's what gave me the idea and it just kind of went from there. I was actually quite moved by um, some of the people's requests on your charity Acts of Kindness Chilton. And what really moved me, I saw there was, does anybody have decorations for a baby's first birthday? And that really broke my heart. That really resonated with me. I worked at Chesham Community Fridge and we collect and give out food that supermarkets would throw out, right? And there were old and young ladies at the bus stop and we had so many flowers. So we decided to literally go up to them. (laughs) There's a lady sitting down and I just gave her this, it was like... £15 worth of flowers and she was absolutely gobsmacked now being kind is infectious it is and you really don't know what that woman could have been going through before you gave her them flowers that could have made her day her week and such a small act can do such a huge amount to people people reach out and say you know like we're struggling to pay for gas and electric can't afford to feed our children I can say do you know what I've, I've been there I know what it's like let me help you um, and then things like birthdays and so like the post you said about the, the little girl's birthday. Yeah. We do, we do get that a lot really sadly. Um, but the positive is that there's never a post that's uploaded that doesn't get a response. I think it's time for a bit of wham, don't you Paige? Sounds like a plan. One thing I notice you do that I haven't noticed that any other Facebook group does is the fact that you do upload a video from time to time to speak to your group yeah and it's quite a brave thing because not everyone can do it it is hard um i think that well i started mainly because i I took a bit of a break from the group um not that i wanted to i just i was in a, a situation and i wasn't on social media for a while and when i came back i wanted 
everyone to sort of know right I'm back now I'm back and making the group the best I can um and I wanted people to sort of see I'm, I'm talking to them I think with a post it just sort of gets swiped past people just sort of bypass it with a video I th- it, people have messaged me and sort of said I feel like we're in the room together talking um wow that's a compliment so, yeah, you're sort of breaking that barrier because yeah. it's everyone texts but the fact that you are seen elevates the power of your charity yeah and I think the, the main thing is because I am asking people if they're struggling to reach out and to sort of come to me and message me I feel like I need to be able to reach out myself because yeah. I can't ask people to sort of tell me their situation and tell me what they're struggling with if i can't do that myself for them how do you see acts of kindness chiltern growing in the future do you want to remain on facebook or is there another platform you're thinking about i'd love to one day be completely registered um and have like a community center that's the the aim eventually right and have you reached out to anyone about it as yet or is it just a thought um it's a thought i've had for a while but there's a lot of more things i need to look into because beforehand i'd like to be registered um as a proper charity and then i would love to have a center where people can sort of come and say do you know what this this is what i'm struggling with what can you do for me and i can sort of say right either i can help you or this person can i think you can take things further because you know what to see a tv show where people are just surprising strangers with kindness people in need will be something i don't think i've seen i've seen it on youtube yeah but it's something really lovely when you see people being kind on screen it is infectious and that's what i see maybe a branch of what you do will go down that route i would love that um i would love for other people to sort of take my idea in different areas and do the same thing um because obviously i can only help within my own radius um i'd love others to in different boroughs different areas to think you know what we can do that here and we can really help people here so um if there is anyone out there that's in a completely different area to us um and would love to sort of do something like this please do message my group message me because i would love for this to be a more broad thing that people did and a support network everywhere and the fact is, I look today, 8,300 members. Yeah. So it's almost every day you must be getting more people jumping on. It's roughly 50 to 100 every few days. Um, wow. Depending, because sometimes if I'm doing an event, I'll post in other local groups and say, this is my group, you don't know about us, come join and get involved. Um, so a journalist, a lovely girl, she was doing, uh, she put a post up basically saying that she wanted to know a community hero um, and wanted to do a article on someone and I got nominated by quite a few people and we did an interview um, for her university um, she just asked sort of how we got to where we are what my future goals was and she'd never ever heard of anything like it i could be wrong but i think a lot of people reach out because it is as easy as popping a message over online and because the amount of people that do sort of get support and help they think well maybe i've I've got a chance here um and i just the group's grown so much and i hope for it to to grow further really um i love what i do and i love to i'll be lost about the group how many hours a week do you think you spend on it okay you're a full-time mum as well so how long all day um wow from the minute i wake up i'll go through message requests from people messaging me i'll I'll be approving posts i'll be posting up on the group um i'll be then looking to see if anyone's asked for anything uh, like notifications of people uploading things that they wanted to get rid of and then each day alternate so some days i'll be down the refuge some days i'll be doing food parcels some days i'll be collecting items from people that can't drive that need them and dropping them off to where they're based wow so here's the thing right this show is sponsored by the burger box yeah and when i walked to the studio tonight i had this idea and i walked past the burger box and sham was there who owns it and we're having a chat i said tell you what sham here's my idea if Paige can give me the name and address of a family in need and i said to him you know what i'm going to say next would you be able to provide them a free meal deliver it to them and he said he would 
So, so if anyone's listening, and this applies to any of your contacts, yeah. if you're listening and you're a family in need, or you know of a family in need, you can reach out to me at studio at chilternvoice.fm and then I'll pass on your details directly to Sham and um, he'll deliver a meal for free. How amazing. And the other thing is, like, you know, Paige, any time you want to join me here live to shout out what acts of kindness children need you know you're welcome whatever time of year i'd love that we are a community radio station and it's all about spreading positive vibes and also helping charities with what you're doing as well because i think it's inspirational because like as you say it's turning a negative into a positive it is it's going from a hard time thinking do you know what this this could get the better of me or thinking that things can get better i can reach out i can get some help and i can get back on my feet again and get back to to living a good life do you remember where you actually were like like the memory of oh, i'm going to start a facebook page do you remember that or yeah where? no i can remember being sat and thinking i need to do something thinking just looking online and 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 seeing facebook groups you know the, the sale groups and things and thinking i need a group that's completely free that anyone in any situation can just come forward so one item that you might think oh do you know i'm, I'm gonna get a new i don't know sofa for instance and you might think oh, i'll take that down the dump to somebody who's just moved in somewhere and and doesn't have any furniture that sofa could really really help them I'm so grateful that you joined me tonight because I think it's getting the word out there. And if you're listening, even if it could be emotional, financial, or you just may feel a little bit alone, you must reach out to Acts of Kindness Chilton. It's not just possessions. It's not just needing furniture or needing food. If you're struggling with debts, if you're... We work a lot with the council. We work a lot with Citizens Advice. We work with the local churches. We work with food banks. We work with a lot of different people and it's not just needing a, a meal on the table or for instance a sofa it's if you need emotional support if you're feeling alone if you're in a really bad time and it's not just money related we're here to help in any kind of way i'm always open for people's opinions people's ideas um things i can do to improve things that i might not already be doing i'm always open for anyone's views on anything at all do you ever think about, right, how can I stop this from becoming a corporate machine? Because that's not what I'm about. I do. And I think the biggest thing and, and the thing that I've done from the beginning, which I will continue to do, is we are a completely free group. We don't accept money donations. We don't accept banks or, or for instance, if someone's needing help that person cannot ask for money from the group they can only ask for a donation um i personally do not accept money from people as does anybody else in the group so i feel that if we keep it completely free at all times hopefully that will help i suppose keep cool. it under control talk to me about your ambition to have a hub on what you want from that so obviously we are based on facebook we are a group online um, and the goal was to sort of build up from there and, and go that one step further and I wanted some kind of like a, a base point like a, a community centre like just somewhere that I could say right this is where we are and you don't have to just message me online you can come down you can apply for a food parcel you can come down you can talk to us about your debts you can come down if you're going to lose your house you can come down if you need furniture it doesn't matter what the situation is you can go to this address and we'll be here to help so here's the thing right yeah if there's anyone listening yeah who either runs a cafe that can spare a couple of tables at a certain time yeah a regular time please let us know so that you can, would be incredible so you can reach out to page at acts of kindness chilton or yeah. you can message me uh studio at chiltonvoice.fm we need to get this done aren't we we need to yeah we so need this happening and even if if we do it once for instance and we get i don't know say five people come and then they tell five of their friends do you know what i had a really great time um i was able to talk to someone i i it was something to look forward to it would spread the word and it would hopefully from then on people would think oh maybe i'll go down there and 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 help get some help i suppose or chat so page listen Thank you so much for joining me tonight. 
I've thoroughly enjoyed your company and enjoying hearing your journey and what you have to say. Well, so thank you again. Um, I feel very privileged to be on air tonight, um, and thank you for having me. Oh, my absolute pleasure. Here we go. Oh, yes. You've been locked into Ben's Kitchen Disco every Friday, 7 till 9. What a hairpin turn tonight. If you've been listening, make sure you follow and interact with Paige at Acts of Kindness Chilton on Facebook. And if you've got any ideas to help her elevate the power of her charity, please don't hesitate to reach out. Studio at ChiltonVoice.fm. Let's make things happen.